Are we back? Are we back? This is part two. I didn't know it was going to be part two, but apparently the battery on the iPhone did. So, let's just recap a little bit. Cleaned it all up. Put the chain and bar to make a blade. Put that on and tensioned it. Now we're just down to the last little bits of crud. Speaking of crud, I'm going to clean clean the spectacles of grease because it's everywhere. Everybody having a good time? Hopefully you're liking the video. Hopefully it's somewhat entertaining to you. Wow, I can see now. Nothing's all smudged. Okay, so what do we have here? Woohoo! All right, so Now we have to clean just the accessories, okay, before we all put it back together. So, oh, why did I use that stuff? I didn't mean to use that stuff, but I did, so this is what we have. So, we want to clean all the gook out. Doesn't have to be, again, NASA. Um, NASA clean room clean. You just need to take the, the gook out of it. Okay. Here, you bubble. Shop dog. As soon as I turn the air compressor on, he's just going to go gonzo. needs Now, what's one of the most important things you'll notice is I just have a dedicated bag for all my two cycle stuff. You know, the grease gun's in there, a set of files are in there, and put this other set of files, screwdrivers, um, and all the stuff, you know, the string trimmer line, two stroke oil. And it's always handy, you know, more grease for the grease gun. It's always handy to have one of these bags. I was given to, I was given this bag uh, by a dear friend of mine, uh, Troy, who uh, serves in the Army uh, Reserves. Thank you, Troy. Very much respect what you've done and what you are doing. But he handed me this bag. I think he got it out of Walmart or something like that. I don't know. But it's a handy, handy, handy little bag. So that's where I keep all of my stuff. So, we want to then, we just want to wipe down the saw, you know? Just clean it up, make it look, you know, show it some love, brother. Show it some love. You know, I know some guys that like to, you know, they're not, you know, my saw is meant for working. Well, yeah, mine is too, but you know what? Um, this way I can inspect everything. I can make sure everything is, is going well. Everything is nice and clean, that the saw is operating to its highest capabilities. Okay, that I've done a walkthrough. Any, any good operator of heavy equipment or anything like that does a walk around. Check all the bolts, check all the you know fluids, check all of that stuff. And that's just what we that's what we're doing here now. That's just what we're doing here now. And it looks good, you know. I spent a lot of money on this saw. I want it to to continue to look good. People go, oh you don't use that that often. Well, you know what? I have no idea how much use that this saw gets. And it does get a lot. So we want it to look nice. So 
I'll have to on Monday call up Jack's small engine and say, yo, Ronnie, can you please get me this part for this air cover? And he'll say, well, just come on down and get it because we have like umpteen thousand of these in stock. So what's the take-home message? Clean your stuff. You know, make it look good. You spent a lot of money on this, on, on your power equipment. Uh, for some of you, like me, you've spent a lot of time uh, and effort researching. You spent a lot of money on purchasing it. Develop a rapport with your power equipment dealer. The big box stores are nice, but do they give you the service of, of a power equipment dealer? No. It will be rather immediate whether or not that you can develop or want to develop a rapport with your power equipment dealer. Um, you will find that the discount that you get at say a big box store is not worth the hassle of when you need to get it serviced. And just like anything, it's mechanical. It will need service. The neat thing that I like about this is because I'm a very loyal customer to Jack Small Engine. Plug, plug, plug. Because I do. I have a very good relationship with them. Is that if it's something that they can cure or deal with right away, they just say, go back and, and have those guys just fix it real quick. This, this little piece, you know, that'll be done right away. Um, and of course, when I'm there, I'll probably buy some more, um, some more chain so that I always have a backup. I always have a backup. Um, you never know when you're cutting through a tree. I was cutting some trees over my brother's house, and he had a steel fence post that, was, that the tree had grown around. And as soon as I hit that, the chain was done. I mean, it's just, it's just cooked once you hit steel like that. Um, trying to really file that by hand out in the field. Um, wasn't productive enough so I just stuck another another chain on it cut it from the other side because I'd already gone through the steel um, I had prayed that you know that was that was the only one that was in there uh, and it was so the production side of things kept going so um, find a chain that you like um, I, again I use steel I use Carlton I use Husqvarna, and I also use, um, um, crap, I can't remember the name now, of who's on this one now, is, um, I remember it in a second, but we always want to make sure Oregon, Oregon. 21 LPX. Okay. This is what I use primarily for this saw. I like it. Um, Husqvarna is supposed to come out with another chain, their X chain. Um, this just happens to be filmed in uh, October of 2017. So that's supposed to roll into the country. Uh, I want to try that. The um, I've been very happy with this with this LPX chain. Uh, I have used the Husqvarna professional chain. I've been very happy with that as well. The only reason why I don't run it now and I have these is because they were out of the professional chain. Uh, the professional chain, I believe, uh, the Husqvarna one, the H, I forgot which one it is, um, do have um, uh, hardened teeth. But the thing that I like about these is what you cannot see all that well. The cutter heads, mm, you can't really see it. The color, the, the the cutter heads on these, the steel is blued, so it's a little stays sharp and a little longer than the other one. But the steel rapid super chain is very good. The only problem is, again, my steel dealer. Um, won't carry 58 gauge chain. So, am I going to have him special order it in? No. I will buy a couple of these from a Husqvarna dealer from Jack Small Engine. You betcha. So, 
Take care of your saws. Take care of anything. What's the next thing that I need to do with this saw? I need to drain the gas out. Um, the bar oil can stay in. That doesn't. That does not get uh, rancid. But I will need to empty the tank, and I think the tank is. There's not much left in there. I tend to run them out. Um, so when I empty the tank back into my two-cycle can, um, it's getting to be full now. So I'll, I'll think what I'll do is I'll take that gas over to my local uh, disposal, um, county disposal unit, and they have um, proper things to dispose of oil and of gas. So I'll take that out and I'll put new fresh gas in for the winter. Um, I don't use stable because um, that stuff doesn't work. Stable just does not work. Um, it doesn't take care of the the alcohol, the water that's in the ethanol. Um, but fresh gas I will put through um, and I, I will um, fill up the snowblower because it's getting to be on that time of year. But once I take this out I'll start the saw when there is no gas that's left in the system. I just put the saw up. When I need to use it, I fill up the gas, I fill up the oil, a couple pulls, up she runs perfectly every single time. My 372 is from 1999, I don't remember when, but I do the same thing to that. I remove the gas, I remove um, all the oil out of the carburetor system itself. Every time I go to use it, bam, it works perfectly. No problems whatsoever. And that 372, that's gotten a lot of hours on it as well. So, in closing, look after your stuff. I don't care if it's orange. I don't care if it's orange and white. I don't care what color it is. Whether it's, you know, Red Max, whether it's Solo or Makita or Husqvarna or Still or whoever. All this stuff still needs to have the same care brought to it. Doesn't matter whose name is on it. Remember, it's all mechanical, and everything mechanical breaks at one time or another. So to all my mouth-breathing mammals out there, be kind, be gentle, be nice. Hey, have fun. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.